Today's presentation will be me working on a Western Electric 1939 with extreme serious modifications over its lifetime ringing and tone plant. So there are two motor generators, G1, G2, and then over on the left side of the screen is the alarm, alarm sender, and some control relays, in addition to the relays atop of the generators that does control and alarming. All of the wires that you see kind of hanging, the spaghetti mess, are the wires that went to the switching equipment and power at one time. About 80% of these wires will not be used in this application, but we have to determine which ones I will uh, reuse and which ones will be removed. There is a terminal block down here, which worries me from a point of trying to do new wiring to it. So we're gonna extend some of the wires and I'm gonna remove some of the wires. That's 120 terminal terminal block and since we've had so much modifications done to this thing I don't know what the mods necessarily all do I am figuring that out one of the generators that has the power on this ringing plant was manufactured in 1939 and has the ringing generators that was intended to be used on it after a lot of work, we was able to get both generator one and two working. Right now I have it started. So you have relays, it's called fast busy, slow busy, and then of course the start relay, which is over on the left. Down below, these relays were kind of added to this later on in life. And you got five relays providing pulses for the code. If we had code ringing connectors in this machine, which we do not, we could utilize the pulses coming from these relays. The terminal block on the back of the shelf after I removed all of the unnecessary wiring. The green jumper has a ground on the start lead to turn the plant off and on or to start stop it. Close up of the interrupter that provides the 60, 120 and all of the different ringing patterns. Many hours of work has gone into making this system operational, and we've got a lot of issues to be uh, dealt with, such as cleaning the bank, wiper adjustments, so forth. But 
another Western Electric machine resurrected. Here are the first selectors, the line group. These are relatively modern. They were made in the 60s. The rear of the switching machine. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.